All right, let's run. You're taking away some pijos? Yeah, some pijos. What's going on, Peter Culture? I'm Adrian Barone, and we're back with yet another tutorial. We got my buddy Richard here on the chair, and we got my buddy Ruben right next to me. About a year ago, we did a video titled A Beginner Tries a Faded Culture Fading Method. We got the updated version since my buddy Ruben has been cutting hair consistently since then. I'm gonna walk him through half of the haircut, and then he's gonna do the other half. So hopefully he has some good questions, and I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Let's jump right into it. Now we can roll it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you start every haircut, you, you, you always comb it to its neutral position? Yeah, I comb it to its neutral position. Always combing according to the cowlick. All right, so six it is, which I don't have, so I'm gonna give you number two. <laughs> what up, <man? laughs> Have you felt, since you've been cutting his hair, that uh, like one side's harder than the other? Oh yeah, for sure. What side? This side's harder. Uh, one thing I noticed, I don't know if you've already caught on to this, but like sometimes when you're cutting straight back, it doesn't catch it. Like all the hair, so I always kind of come like at an angle. Yeah. So it picks up the hair as it's cutting it. Mm -hmm. So I'd even do like the angle right here, like on the side this way? Yeah. And then you hear like a bunch. Yeah, you hear like, all like, of a sudden, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Duster. Thank you. Sorry, where do you usually start your mid fade? Mm. Do you pay attention to the temple? Yeah, the temple. Like right here, just because. He likes it balded out. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So we'll start it right under that temple. Lever completely closed. And you feel like you struggle with that other side just because of uh, like the, the hair way, growth? Yeah, the hair growth, how like just point out. Yeah, gotcha. And the lever. Is there something that you feel that since you've started cutting hair up until this point, that's kind of like, uh, like, damn, I wish I was doing this from the beginning? I'm starting to like figure out like where I'm at with the clipper. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Like, like uh, where like, exactly it's cutting? Yeah, where exactly it's like cutting more or less. You know what I mean? At first I'm like, am I cutting it? Or yeah. like, what if I go too high? Like, you know sometimes, I mean? yeah, you don't know like where the placement of the clipper's actually cutting? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. And do you uh, have the same pressure on your wrist across all guards? Um, yeah, I feel like I do. Yeah, the same flick, the same everything. Yeah, I'm trying to be as consistent. Sometimes too, I remember in the beginning when I was cutting, I was over flicking. So it's like, by the time they look at this little mirror, it's just a big old mushroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're just kind of coming out. Yeah. Cause you're scared to like put the fade in. And are you like, like say with these guidelines, are you flicking towards the top of yes. it when you release it, right? So as I'm soft. making it. Yeah, as you're making it, right? To make it real so as soft as I can. Yeah. Especially once I get to the, the, this guard and higher. Yeah. Like the half guard, I'm, you know, I'm in there, I'm just trying to make the, the guideline. Obviously, I'm not trying to dig it in there either, but yeah. I am a little harder, I guess you could say. Yeah, and that's yeah. the one and a half right there, right? Yeah, it's open. a one and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna go through all the guards and then just, all, they're all gonna stay open. I know a lot of the times for me too in the beginning, I felt like I wasn't patient with the strokes of the clipper. It's like one stroke and I wanted to see that line out. And yeah. if I didn't see it out, I would start moving the lever and it's like, you gotta give the clipper time to work. Yeah. So yeah, we got the two guard now. Three? Yeah, three. What is uh, the highest guard that you use on the side? Um, I like to like the three. The three, to be honest. Yeah. No matter how long the hair is on top, you go uh, three. I've done like four max. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I always kind of preach on these tutorials. Mm -hmm. No matter how long the hair is, I'll go four max, and then after that, it's clipper over comb or shears over comb. Mm -hmm. You struggling to see the guidelines or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we'll are start with that top one. I'm gonna use my half guard, put that lever in that three fourths position. Mm -hmm. I mainly just use the corners, dude. This was like, like it looks like, like I'm laying it all down, but I'm really just kind of yeah, it was like a that four, last third. Like, 
Yeah, third of it, like four teeth. Yeah. Three teeth or and then, like I said, I'm just kind of patient with my strokes and. So like floating. Yeah, just kind of leave it on there until it actually takes out. Like, give it some time to actually try to take out that line. Don't just yeah. rush through it. Because if you just do this, like, it's not gonna. Yeah. It's not gonna do nothing. Not to remove that one that discreates one guard. Leaving that lever in the three-fourths position. Mm -hmm. And just corners. <laughs> what? He's what? already feeling the, the fade effect. He's already feeling himself? He's already feeling himself. He's, like, He's already texting the shorties. I used to cut you his up. hair. He's like, I used to cut his hair. What? What time is it? So now for that bottom line, and there is still kind of a faint line, right, with that half guard that it didn't come off. But once I start to focus and blend out this, it'll kind of start to blend in, or I can just remove that with the lever fully open. But I do always start lever closed. Mm -hmm. And I always just focus on one little section at a time. And also you're just using the corners, right? Yeah. And then halfway. And fully open. there. Mm -hmm. Now this part in front of the ear. Again, lever close. Like literally, look, now that I'm removing that final line, this time I'm probably only really using the last two teeth of the clipper. Mm -hmm. Or just use your own teeth. There we go. Mm -hmm. two, one teeth. Yeah. Finally fully open. Especially like the higher I need to go, like I'll literally almost like one two cut. Yeah, one two cutting her sideways. Have you uh, zero gap your clippers? Yeah. All right, okay. I'm like still like more comfortable with like the lever, no the click. Oh, okay. Right now, but I'm starting to like get the feel for like like the scenery. You know how like that it has no like that range. Like how yeah. to like you know what I mean? At first I'm like. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. I feel like now, we didn't have clicks when we started cutting hair, so. Y'all have it easy, y'all new age barbers? <laughs> yeah, new age. The beard, I always start, what is this, whatever this is called, and that's where I start. Yeah. I think I got that from you. Uh, what is that called? The clip? Yeah. I wonder if he falls asleep, you're playing with his <laughs> I always hit it first. And then here, mm -hmm. like I have regular pressure on the, it's not until I approach that line, then I kind of just release it. Yeah. Do you, uh, once you're done fading, you step back a lot and use your mirror? Yeah. I'll be like, once I'm in there fading, I like like step back, like you say, like it kind of like, I don't know, it starts to look like one. Are yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it starts looking good, and then like you step back a little bit, and you're like, oh yeah, I need, I need to try to touch up like right there. Like. Yeah, definitely. Now the beard, I'm gonna do halfway. I mean, that was fully open. This is halfway. And close. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it is Ruben's turn to try the faded culture method. And we're gonna start right underneath? Yeah, right under that temple. a lot of guidelines in my life and that's a good one. Oh, nice. Thank you for the compliment. No. So lever open? Yep, next step, about a finger's width. You got fat fingers or you got regular fingers? So, little yeah. chubbies, little, little sausages. Yeah, little sausages. I feel like sometimes like I get underneath it mm -hmm. and then like once you like start taking away like this right here, you're gonna like kind of see where you kind of like went up a little bit. Does oh, that make sense? I, I get you, I get you. That's because if is it too like... See, this? if you struggle with, with because this could probably be that the hair is a little long and it's throwing you off. You could have probably debulked this. Yeah. Like just take this down to like a two. Yeah. That way you don't have hair that you're not going to see. Because I get what you're saying. The hair is kind of long. So by the time you take this off, you see like the strokes, right? Yeah. You, you can see like low yeah. the strokes. So I'm like right here. Do I need to make that a little bit thicker, you think? Yeah, right here it almost looks like you didn't cut. Yeah, like right here. Yeah. Side. 
And the reason I say like your guidelines are soft is I can see how they don't, they almost get lost right here. Yeah. They're not as clear. Yeah, right there. If you saw like my guidelines, they're very just like, they're a little darker, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's probably because either you weren't putting the clipper in as much as you should or mm -hmm. could, or the angle of it. Yeah. And right here, are you using uh, corners or are you still using like almost like the whole? I'm using the, as I'm setting up, I always use the full clipper. The full clipper, right? Yeah. Number two guard. Number two. You see how naturally how I'm saying like this area is just a lot darker than like this? Yeah. It's almost like you do one stroke here and it cleans it out and this, you're kind of still there. It's having still to there. do it. So right here you'd say I still need to get yeah, in Yeah, you still kind of need to go. No, it looks good. I feel like you can go three and four now. Three and four now. And since his hair like kind of goes in like right, right here, you don't go and chase it this way. Yeah, no. Still come right off the head right here in this area, right? So it's like you're a little bit in, because like I said, sometimes when you're, you're coming out too much of the head, you start giving that mushroom feel. It's, it's almost like you're coming straight up, not out. Yeah. You got the, what do you got? Four. No, oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, that you that that the one on there? Is that move? <laughs> the half clip. <laughs> right? <laughs> your, your damn numbers are... <laughs> they're almost, in Spanish, the they're, numbers. They're fucking almost gone, goddamn. You know, this is the first guard I ever got. For <laughs> real? Come on, we get to deal with it. Yeah? Yeah. It helps too if you pop a Bluetooth before you cut here. All right, All right, now you got your two guidelines, so we're gonna start with that top one. Top one with a little less. Right. So it's right here. I'm like right there. So right here, right. you have that one, and then you have this one to take out. So we'll start with that top one. And then like I said, this area requires a little more stroke, so take your time. If you get tired too of like holding the ear, you can just always just tape it down. Just get some masking tape. Duct tape. Yeah, just duct tape it down. Pretty solid. Get that one guard and then finish just cleaning out the little spots that are dark. Okay, so now we're doing liver clothes. Come on. Yeah, no, you gotta get close. Yeah. I noticed you broke down the three-step process to a lot smaller. Is there a reason for that? Like a lot smaller, or oh, you mean like just like- Yeah, like I personally would have probably done this whole thing. Oh, the whole thing? Three steps. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But no, I mean, if that's how you do it, I'm asking. Like, yeah, I mean- Do you feel like that helps you stay organized or do you feel like- a, a little, I guess, but like you said, like I guess like, I'll probably like sometimes do half, but I did stay over here, kind of small. Yeah, just right, right there. Because a lot of times too, if you're scared to use a corner, you can just put a guard on there and go up a little bit higher. Stay in that same spot. Yeah. If you feel like it's not doing enough or not doing much, or you're scared to lay more than you need to, yeah, just throw in that half guard. Trimmer. Mm -hmm. I think it's still this little area right here. A little area? Like, it looks a little dark right here, would you say? A little bit, yeah. Do you, does this ever help, like, if you pull, like, skin tight while you're fading? Does that? Do yes, that? but it's tricky because some, then you let the skin relax and, and it, does. It, it can be something different. It depends, like, if they're kind of, like, if their hair's real stuck on the hair, I'll pull mm -hmm. a little bit, but I try not to, honestly. It's best to have like make sure like the client is like has their head tilted. A little bit tilted, yeah. A little bit tilted, right? For sure. You never want to tilt it too much either because it, it, like, it stretches it throws it all off. this, right? Yeah, it throws it off. So you always want to have as neutral as possible because they're not gonna walk around with their head down. Yeah. And I remember in, in the beginning too, when I first started cutting hair, mm -hmm. just because the back is a little more dense, I would notice yeah. I would stretch out my guidelines a lot more than I would on the side. But True. now I've realized you technically don't need to. It comes back to how I was telling you, letting the clipper like staying in that same spot work, work and letting it spot. work. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, now I got the two. All right, so we're pretty much done with the fade. Now we're gonna proceed with the edge up and then the beard. Again, I'm gonna do half, and then he's gonna do the other half. Is there one side of his edge up that is a little more tricky for you? Um, I'll say this side a little bit, just cause his hair like moves. That side? No, uh, this side. The one I'm doing. Yeah, cause it like kinda moves right here. Cow lick area? Yeah, his hair goes straight on the other side. And then kind of cut against the hair. Like in the motion that I'm going, it's almost, like it's small strokes, but if I had to exaggerate it, it's like I'm going down on the, mm -hmm. the hair, right? It's like I'm going straight and then I'm kind of mm -hmm. going against it because his hair is going this way. Mm -hmm. I'm like doing this to make sure that I cut it. Yeah. All right, catch. Hair like, it's not real thick right here. Yeah. So you seeing that, taking the edge up like a little bit past here, right? Like. So are you saying because it's light right here, are you taking it right there where it was? Yeah. Or are you doing it forward? Yeah. I mean, honestly, that is like client preference, mm -hmm. but you are gonna get the sharpest edge up where the hair starts to get the darkest. Yeah. So technically it would be right there, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there's some people that are picking, they're like, they don't want almost no hair to grow out right here. Yeah, true. So then they would get it literally right there where it's at. I'll get that one little hair right there. I notice too sometimes when it's like that, when it's like one or two little hairs, yeah, just don't it. even worry about it. Dude. Just get it with the blade. You end up just yeah, you end up pushing that whole edge up too much. You took you always tuck a napkin on them. Yeah, I think one of my clients said it was like whenever I did that, they're like, oh, I have never seen someone do that before. Yeah, other barbers don't. And they wipe it on them. They just wipe nah, it on their nah, face. Nah, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Even that too, when you pull the cheek, yeah, that, that helps out. So just trying to like shave it straight, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, but the, get that curve this in. is probably the only thing that I will pull, but mm -hmm. even then I, I always, I notice myself like I pull and then I, let, I reset it mm -hmm. just to make sure that I'm going right. Cause if not, yeah, yeah. you'll end up with the chin strap. I always kind of start from the back and then work my way forward, just putting it on. In the beginning, it might look a little messy. You could always step from the front too and then look at any frizz I'd like sticking out. It's usually from the side, so I'll cut it down a little bit. All right, guys, so there y'all have it. We did a six on top with a bald mid fade. I hope y'all took something new. I hope y'all got a different perspective. Somebody that's been cutting hair for about a year now. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already as well. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.